Hey everyone, today's video is about when they scare or hurt you with their quirks. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Thank you. We're starting off this time with Shinzo Hitoshi. Shinzo won't really mean it. He was just in the middle of the argument, so he couldn't really control his feelings and emotions. So he just kind of snapped. He was telling you who hurt you. You kept asking about the person, and you said that you didn't want to tell him. So, he used his quirk. You told him before that he shouldn't use it on you. But he kind of forgot. Not really. Not that he forgot, but he just didn't remember, you know? He could have remembered it in any other situation, but now that he was very distracted by this argument, he kind of forgot about it. So, he used his quirk and let you tell him the person's name. And then, when he stopped, you were just kind of frozen. You didn't even realize he used his quirk. Until you looked at him, he was also frozen, just like you, for some reason. Maybe he didn't realize that he used his quirk on you. Oh shit, he might be having a panic attack right now. You should go to him and reassure him. That's what you thought. You went to him and grabbed his arms. Hey, hey, Shinso. Shin, it's okay, yeah? It's alright, I know you didn't mean it. I... I'm sorry. I promised that I wouldn't use it on you. Hey, 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 just calm down. It's fine. It already happened. I... I'm okay. It was just an accident. I know you were... You were just distracted, yeah? It's nothing, really. Come here. Let me hug you. You hugged him tightly. And... Kept playing with his hair. He was just like a cat. He kept purring in your arms. Like, really. Literally purring. And then after calming down for a little... He took him on the couch... Come on. Shh, calm down. It's quite alright. I know you didn't mean it. Yeah, baby? Hmm. Can I cuddle you? Cuddle me? Oh, that's fine, you don't have to ask me. Come here. You hugged him tightly and he kept cuddling. But after a while, he told him that he would get out of you. Are you mad at me? No, I'm just going to put on a movie. And I'm coming back. Yeah? I'm gonna get some snacks and I'm gonna get the movie. Alright? I'm coming back in a second. Just stay there. He went and got the snacks and put on the movie and then went back to his side. It's alright, okay? I forgive you. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Okay. Midori Izuku. Well, literally, it was your fault, after all. He was just practicing. You know practicing he activated his quirk and he was punching his punching bag but then out of nowhere he decided to somehow go and jump scare him he thought that it was an amazing idea i don't know how anyway you went there and grabbed his arms but then you screamed and you even cried it didn't hurt you that much, it was just the scare that scared you. So you kept crying, and he went to you and hugged you. After deactivating his quirk. What? Why are you okay? Shit, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He kept swaddling apologies and coming onto the verge of tears himself. But you tried to assure him, even though you had tears on your face as well. Hey, it's okay. It's alright. I'm sorry. It didn't hurt, really. I was just kind of scared. Yeah? Izuku. Izuku, look at me. He looked at you. Oh my god, his eyes were full of tears. And he had a lot of tears streaming down his face. Even more than you. Baby, baby, just calm down. It's really nothing. Yeah? It's nothing, really. I was just scared. Nothing more. Baby... And when you looked at your hands, they had bruises on them. Uh, 
he looked at them too and cried even more. Shh, calm down. He cried because of how he was crying. He looked so sad and it broke your heart. So you had a nice little cry fist together. And he completely understood that it was your fault. But that's alright. Midoriya took you on a little date after you calmed down to make up for what he did. Not like he did anything actually, but he just thought though. And he completely forgave him. Taruki Shoto. I see how sweet Vi is actually depressed. He burned you. He was just mad, yeah? He was just really mad. Or more like sad. He was just kind of depressed, you know? He was in a phase. Basically, he was just, you know, had a conversation, a cool conversation with his father. And it wasn't that cool. You don't understand. Anyways. After he came back home from that agency day, and he stayed in his room after he came back, really doing nothing, we kept asking him, um, was he okay? Why was he acting like that? He kept ignoring you, and ignoring you for three weeks, without eating, without keeping up with his hygiene, without actually doing anything. So you had enough. And he began to really insist on getting him to open up. Taroki kept his back turned though. He didn't want to get mad at you. He didn't want to hurt you. He didn't want to become like his father. But then you saw how frost was growing on his right side. And you could feel the heat going on his left side. But you kept on insisting to talk to him. Really. And you stepped closer. And your voice was getting louder. He didn't reply, but and grabbed his shoulder, telling him to answer you. And then he suddenly burst into flames and ice, turning and yelling at you to leave him alone. Since you were standing alone, you were caught by the flames and you suffered quite a few minor burns. Yes, they were minor, but they were still so painful. And you were overwhelmed with the frustration. You cried up and began sobbing. That's what... What he did hit him. He immediately pulls you into his arms and starts apologizing to you. Hey, hey baby. Hey, I'm so sorry for what I did. He kept apologizing for what he did for weeks and how he hurt you now. And then he kept telling you about why he did it. Why he kept himself in the room. Since he didn't know that he wasn't the agency that day. You were thankful for the situation. And Taroki even ended up coming out of his room and talking to you more. Maybe it was for the better. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.